All right, this new Copilot Vision is not out yet, but I'm gonna show you kind of a workaround and how you can actually just talk to a website using the Microsoft Edge browser and Copilot to really interact with the web in a new way. I think it's a great uh, accessibility uh, feature which is often overlooked when talking about the power of AI. All right, what's going on, y'all? My name is Jordan Wilson, and I'm the host of Everyday AI. We're a daily live stream podcast and free daily newsletter helping everyday people learn and leverage generative AI to grow their companies and their careers. All right, a little bit, uh, little bit different setup today because we're trying to share some audio coming from the browser. I was having some issues, so hopefully this works. So let me tell you just really quick a little bit more about what we're trying to do here. Uh, so there's been a lot of new updates with Microsoft Copilot. So uh, as an example, they just kind of rolled out this new uh, this new updated interface, this new kind of Copilot V2. Mixed mixed reactions. Some people love it, some people hate it, but it is much different. Uh, but one thing that they will be rolling out soon is something called Copilot Vision, and this should be available for people that have a Copilot Pro subscription. Uh, so. Here's kind of what Copilot Vision will do once it's available. It allows you to kind of co-browse the internet with Copilot. So you can turn uh, Microsoft Copilot into a strategist, a creative thought partner. You can have it watch you code and ask it questions and interact with an AI in real time. Uh, I think, honestly, this is kind of the future of work. We saw something like this previewed way back about three or four months ago from OpenAI. But essentially, now you have the OpenAI advice, uh, advanced voice mode. But right now, it can't. Uh, you can't use your uh, phone's uh, camera, and so it can't see. Uh, and right now, the desktop app doesn't have the ability to uh, see in real time either. But we do know that those features and functionalities are coming to chat GPT plus, and also they're coming to Copilot Pro, all right, in the new Copilot vision. So I'm gonna show you kind of a workaround on how you can start using it now. And like I said, uh, I think it's a great time saver right now uh, and some great accessibility, it's, it's a hidden accessibility feature as well. All right, so as a reminder, I am using the Microsoft Edge browser, which I love. It's based on Chromium, so all of your Chrome extensions and uh, all of that data will work. So right now, I'm going to click on the little Copilot banner in the upper right-hand corner, and you'll see I have Copilot Pro. Um, so I'm gonna actually go ahead and refresh this because I was just doing some testing. All right, so one thing to keep in mind, now I'm able to interact with just this website. So if you have Microsoft 365, make sure you check right here because you might not have this option. So if you want this option, make sure to talk to your uh, IT staff about this. So I want to talk with just this one page, okay? And I'm just gonna say something simple like summarize this. All right, I'm probably gonna get a kind of lengthy summary, but it's only about this page. So uh, I was actually, uh, had a great conversation today with Peter Chapman, uh, the president and CEO of IonQ. Uh, they're a public company in the quantum computing space. And I found myself, even after all this, still struggling to understand some things because uh, Peter is very smart and I don't know a ton about quantum computing. This is another great use case for generative AI, large language models, Copilot. All right, so, but what I really like here is the ability to actually just use the microphone. So uh, a lot of people don't know this. Uh, once you just use the microphone and talk back uh, or talk with uh, Edge via the Copilot banner, it will just talk right back to you. You don't even have to click the read allow button. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, try this. Hopefully the audio works. I'm, I'm having some trouble uh, getting the audio. So uh, you're gonna hear me speak uh, and then I'm gonna put my microphone in front of my speakers and hopefully you will be able to hear this. All right, so let's go ahead and try this out. So again, I'm just gonna click on the use microphone and then I'm gonna click send. So I don't have to type a lot and hopefully I won't even have to read a lot. All right, let's try it out. Can you explain the basics of quantum computing that Peter was talking about on this page? Please explain it simply as if you were talking to someone who's in high school. Sure. Here are the basics of quantum computing explained simply. What is quantum computing? Unlike regular computers that use bits, zeros, and ones to process information, quantum computers use qubits. 
Qubits can be both zero and one at the same time, thanks to a property called superposition. This allows quantum computers to process a vast... All right, so hopefully you could hear that, uh, but essentially Copilot just started to read through this response. So again, this is a great way. You, you just have to be able to click the computer uh, or click your mouse twice. You don't have to type a bunch. Uh, you don't even have to read a lot, right? This is something that I love doing uh, inside Copilot is just talking with a specific web page. Um, and I know that might seem weird, but look at all the information on this on this website. There's a ton of information. We have our whole transcript here, a bunch of other great resources and materials. Uh, so I can really personalize this content to me. If I'm struggling to understand a certain concept, I can ask it, which I think is really cool. All right, I hope this was helpful. If so, uh, please go to youreverydayai.com, sign up for the free daily newsletter, and I'll see you back for another AI in five. Thanks, y'all.